Welcome Scorpios, I'm back again with another video for y'all. On y'all way in, go ahead and click the like button. Like, 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 like. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and click the bell to subscribe because you don't want to miss out. All right, so let's jump right in, guys. Um, this is going to be for the month of June. All right, so we'll see what energy is coming towards you guys for June. And if this message applies to you, make sure you leave me a comment below. Um, don't forget to share with your family and your friends as well. Okay, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and being in Scorpio. Okay, so if you have Scorpio anywhere in that area of your chart, you can listen to my video and apply and, you know, see what you can get out of it. If it does not apply, let it fly. Don't get in my comment section because I do talk shit back. All right, so let's get this in. Let's get, let's go ahead and see what's coming towards my Scorpios for the month of June. June. June, 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 June. If you want to book a reading, guys, that information is going to be in the drop box below. All right. What messages? Oh, okay. All right. So we got the Ten of Wands for you guys' this energy. That jumped right out. All right, so some of you guys are feeling burdened. <laughs> you may be feeling tired. You may be feeling boggled down. Okay, you may feel. You may also feel like you know you're ready for something to be over with. Okay, it's like you're at the, at your last straw. Like I'm getting like you feel kind of tired a week. Okay, um, you you're putting in a lot of work here. You're putting in a lot of effort here. Why is the ten of wands okay? Ten of pentacles. Lots of ten. Some of you could be seeing. 10 10 okay and then we got the eight of cups yeah you're done you're done you're ready to give up on something you're done you're done you don't want to do it anymore Ooh, y'all don't want to do something anymore okay let's see oh whoa, whoa. yep see you got look the death card which is you guys is which is you guys energy but i definitely you don't want to give to something no more Six of Pentacles. Yeah, like you're two of swords and a chariot. You could be dealing with the cancer. But I'm just getting like there's no forward movement. Like you're you don't want to move forward with something. Um, maybe something costs too much money. Um you just don't want to move forward with it. So why was the past energy? Temperance. You could have been dealing with the Sagittarius, or maybe you were trying to balance things out. But then we got the justice card, okay? Hmm. Lots of major arcanas here. So something big is transpiring. With the death card here, there's an ending and a new beginning. The temperance card is about balance and healing. And the justice card, which is also about balance, okay? Uh, well, this could be dealing with the court system, okay? I'm feeling like you're done. You're done with something. You don't want something. Ah, uh, Hierophants. And the Ace of Wands. A new, something new. You're done. You were looking for something new. Someone's asking for too much. You may feel like somebody's asking for too much. You're done with this. You don't want this. You're done. Let's see how they feel. Ace of Swords. They knew you was going to say that. <laughs> They knew you was going to feel that way. They knew you was going to say that. They knew you wasn't going to want it. Okay, so maybe they maybe they were deciding to go half on you with something. Because they knew that you was going to say, I don't want to do that. That's too much. I don't want to do, mm -mm, no. We can do it together. We can we can be a team. Do it together. <laughs> we can go 50-50. <laughs> All right, Ten of Cups. And let's see what this outcome looks like. We got the Emperor and the Three of Swords wanted to jump out. But we're going to do the Emperor. The Emperor is in the reverse. So you don't feel like you are in control or you're pretty pissed here. Um, I'm getting like really big ego here. Somebody does not want something. Some Something is too much, costs too much. Why is the Ten of Wands? Yeah, look at this. You're done with the world. 
Like something is over with. Most definitely something's over with. I got three cards symbolizing that something is over and done with. You don't want it. You don't want something. There's something here that you don't want. Okay, why is the Eight of Cups here? King of Cups. You guys' energy. All right, so you're walking the hell off. This is stressing you out. Maybe you, you rushed out. You don't want nothing to do with it anymore. You're done. Okay? So you're signing up for something new. You're taking it a whole nother route. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Chariot. You could be dealing with the Cancer and the Eight of Swords. Okay? So you're not trying to be stuck in a commitment or some type of agreement. You don't want to be stuck in it. Okay? You don't want to be stuck. Mm-mm. You may feel like that is keep tabs, trying to keep tabs. And you're like, nah, I don't want to do it. Why is the Temperance card here? Five of Swords, okay? So maybe there was an agreement. You guys came up with some type of agreement in the past, Okay? You guys came up with some type of agreement because I got the temperance card here and that's definitely agreeing or coming to some type of um, middle ground after there was some type of conflict. Why is the five of swords here? Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, okay? So there was, some, there was a conversation that was had, okay? There's a conversation that was had. And it looks like it could have possibly been about finances or something in that nature. Okay. Let me see why the page of wands is here. Something. You made up your mind that you don't want to do something. Okay. Because it looks like it may interrupt your fun or something. It may cut into your fun. We got the sun card and the three of cups. This is most definitely like it's, this is a party energy. Maybe it's cutting into your recreational things. And you're like, no. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Why is the justice card here? Could be dealing with a Libra, but I'm definitely since night there needs to be some type of balance. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. There's a small balance on something. There's a small balance. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Okay. Oh, yeah. I feel like someone's here is like keeping up the payments on something. Okay, so for future energy, I'm getting like there's this small balance that may be still left on, on something. And I'm also getting that someone's been keeping up with the payments here. Going broke, keeping up with something. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. I'm getting that there's conflict here. There's some conflict here. There's a there's a disagreement. Most definitely a disagreement here. Something you you're gonna have to make some type of decision, okay? I know you possibly are disappointed about something in the past, okay? But moving ahead, there is going to have to be a decision that's going to be made, okay? So I'm getting that there is a new. You want to sign a new contract. You want to sign a new deal or there's something that you want something. You want to start fresh. You want something new. You want to start over. But their, their intuition was telling you that you, they knew that you were going to say that. This person knows you like the back of their hand. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Okay. You you could be fearing that there, there could be a breakup here. Okay. With the Ten of Cups and the Ten of and the Three of Swords, you're fearing that there could be a breakup, and you feel like um, this person could possibly move far away from you, okay? Because I'm getting that there's the, like this distance, okay? With the Six of Wands, I'm sorry, this, yeah, the Six of Wands and the Eight of Cups. So this is most definitely like a a, a trip of a long distance, okay? So maybe you feel like you fear breaking up this person breaking up with you or you breaking up with them and this person moves like far they move all right so why is the emperor in here in the reverse i'm getting some spies you guys got some spies oh i see the seven of swords somebody needs to take control why is it oh gosh this is just too much i don't need to know all of that all right why is the emperor in here Okay, we got the Ace of Cups. All right. 
Okay. <laughs> Somebody needs to control their emotions because I'm getting a real big outburst here. And I'm, I'm getting that there is a spy. Somebody's spying here. Okay. Somebody, you guys are trying to make plans for something. Um, but this, whatever it is that you're trying to make plans for is kind of crushing your emotions. Okay. I'm feeling like you guys need to get your emotions in check. Okay. Get your feelings in check when dealing with this. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Yeah. It's about the money. Okay. We got the Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. So maybe you're needing... Uh, to split something with someone, okay. Split a bill, split uh, on a saw on a, a purchase, okay. Or you're wanting to combine resources, the, yeah. See, you're trying to invest in something, but something is because uh, I got the seven of pentacles and ten of pentacles. You're trying to invest, you're that you've invested in something. And now you're done. Now you want something new. There could have been like a disagreement about this, but about this in the past. Um, but I'm, I'm getting like you want something new. For some of you, this could be like a new car. Okay, yeah, because something didn't work. Okay, something's not working. Ten of Swords and Eight of Pentacles. Something is not worth, not worth it, not working. Okay. Yeah, you've made that final decision, okay? It isn't something that you wanted to do, but you had to make this final decision that this isn't working, and you're done, you're walking away from it. Eva, I feel like you've invested a lot into this, but you're walking away from it. I'm seeing you walking away from something. And starting something new. Let's see what the angels have to say. What message is this there for Scorpio, please? Some of you need to make sure you're taking care of your, your health. I got improving health. And I got it's up to you. And I also got um, abundance, okay? I got abundance. I feel like an opportunity for abundance is on the way. I feel like right now, if you guys are having financial issues, it's just something about here about timing. Something about not being the right time, okay? But I feel like a new opportunity is getting ready to present itself, and it has something to do with abundance, all right? So let's let's get into it. Improving health. You guys need to make sure that you're keeping an eye on your health. Some of you guys have health issues, okay? Some of you guys are having some type of health issues, and you need to take a break. Okay, take a break. Take a break and take care of yourself. It's up to you. It's up to you, okay, on whether or not you want to wait, okay? Because I do feel like there's a, a need to make some type of decision very, very soon or right now because this is present energy. So I feel like some of you guys are waiting to make a decision when you need to go ahead and possibly make this decision, okay? Abundance. Why is abundance here? Yeah, something here about having to control your emotions now. You got to control your emotions. Why is abundance here? Ooh, something new. Ooh, something about listening to your friends or listening to a group of individuals. I feel like there is a new leap. Okay, so maybe there's a circle around you. Um, a group of people that have some ideas, but I do feel like there is an opportunity getting ready to come towards you and you don't want to be held back. You don't want to be held back. Okay. All right. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. If you want to book your own personal reading with the Empress, the information is in the drop box below, okay? Until next time, guys. Ciao for now.